They have contractors that do a job, and that's a job. That's a job. <laughs> All right, so that moment where he was a totally real, normal American, and I think actually... So ranting at the people who set up his teleprompter, the workers who set up the stage and the teleprompter, and then cursing at them and saying that they suck and that he's not going to pay them. And of course, the Fox Propaganda Network bursts into laughter. Ha <laughs> ha, this is what normal Americans do. Again, folks, the game you should always play when you're evaluating the veracity of what the Fox Propaganda Network has to say is imagine it's Barack Obama. Imagine what they say, the subject of it, change it out if it's something flattering, like if it's a compliment, like the, the laughter and effuse praise they offer for Trump. Scratch out Donald Trump's name and put in Barack Obama or Joe Biden. And imagine, play the scenario in your head, would the Fox Propaganda Network have the same reaction? No, of course not. I mean, these are the people who freaked out, who wanted to secede from the union because President Obama used Dijon mustard on a hot dog and wore a tan suit this one time. Imagine if it were President Biden or Secretary Hillary Clinton, if they stood on stage and lost their temper and used profanity and said that they wouldn't pay the people who set the stage up. The Fox propaganda network not only would not laugh, it would be, it would dominate every op-ed and all of the, the, the live shows on the Fox Propaganda Network, like The Five and Hannity and other things, Jesse Waters' primetime, for days. I can't believe the elitist Democrats would hurl profanity at working class technicians and threaten not to pay them. But of course, because it's Donald Trump, again, an adjudicated fraudster, an adjudicated rapist, and a convicted felon, he seemed to grade him on a curve. But it wasn't just that sort of thing that Trump said. He also went on an incoherent rant about MIT sharks and batteries.